Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shirley and this is Unboxing a Brand. Today we're going to be trying Splendid Spoon's reset plan. What that means is that I will be drinking five soups for the day and eating almost nothing else. They say that if you are really hungry, you can eat a handful of nuts or fresh fruits and vegetables. If you've never heard of Splendid Spoon before, they are a plant-based food delivery company. They sent you meals that are plant-based in forms of noodle bowls, soup bowls. They also have smoothies and what they call shots. It comes in these like tiny bottles and it's just like full of good ingredients it's obviously not alcohol shots so it is friday and i am working from home today my son is at daycare so it's a little bit easier for me to just focus on what i eat instead of trying to figure out what to feed him at the same time i'm on their website right now they do have a blog that kind of explains the reset plan it says a reset day is a great way to give the body time to rest digest and heal by stepping away from processed foods or even just your daily go-to's you'll recalibrate your taste buds cut cravings and refocus your health goals and it also says with less time spent digesting, the body can focus on repairing and using the whole real foods in the soups to up your energy, reduce bloating and inflammation, and improve your skin, among other benefits. So I don't have any makeup on today. Um, I do have like a cinematic filter on on my phone. I'm fil filming from my phone, so sorry if the, the audio is a little bit off. I don't know if one day soup is going to do anything to my skin, but let's see. I just did not feel like putting on any makeup today. Okay, what else? So I had a sort of a late start today um it's friday i just kind of like wanted to give myself a little bit of a breathing room in the morning um it's about almost 11 o'clock right now and i still haven't had any breakfast i'm not like fasting or anything i'm just i'm just not very hungry this morning and on the blog um they kind of follow this dietitian's plan they were saying that she started the morning with a cup of hot water with lemon instead of coffee so that's what i'm doing i'm not gonna do any coffee today so this is my cup of hot water with lemon. I also added a little bit of honey. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but um, oh well, let's just do it that way. Oh, I do have to mention that even though Splendid Spoon sent me these meals, this is not a sponsored video. All of my thoughts and opinions are my own. The fact that they sent me this for free does not affect what I think of the meals. All right, so I just finished my morning meetings and it's now lunchtime. I'm going to go grab a soup because that lemon water really made me hungry. All the acidity in the drink just like was like, hey, you need some food. So let's go find a soup and warm it up. Okay, so let's give this a try. This is the cauliflower potato chowder soup and it has navy beans and rosemary. It smells delicious. So let's see how it tastes. It's pretty good. It's definitely on the lighter side. There's not too much um, salt in here. The sodium content is 250 milligrams. So maybe I'll just add a tiny bit more salt and maybe some fresh pepper and see if that helps. Okay, some pepper, some salt. Mm, the pe pepper definitely helped. It's still kind of light, but it's not so bad. It's very healthy tasting. <laughs> Just reading the ingredients, you can definitely taste the chunks of potatoes and cauliflower and celery and beans. If you wanted to add some meat in this thing, you could probably add some like roasted bacon probably. I think that'll be a good addition. But otherwise, it's fine on its own too. So let's see how, um, how long this will last me before I start getting hungry again. All right, so I'm definitely a little bit hungry still. And before my lunch hour is over, I'm going to eat a fresh semi-fresh avocado. It's kind of going bad a little bit, but I'll just scoop around it. I'll add a little bit of salt with a little bit of lemon juice from this morning when I made that uh, lemon and honey drink. And hopefully this will tie me over until the next soup. It is three o'clock right now. I am getting hungry. I, I think I've been hungry since finishing that last soup and avocado. So I'm going to go warm up another soup. I'm really craving something more solid rather than just soup so let's see if i can actually make it through this challenge um okay so let's go warm up some soup here's a look at the butternut squash ratatouille soup it's definitely a little more, bit more watery than i was hoping it would be but there's still some nice chunks of vegetables in here mm. it's packed with flavor there's lots of veggies in here, which is good. Definitely getting my vegetable serving in today. I'm just craving a little bit of bread to go with this, but gonna hold off. Just gonna drink the soup. <laughs> so ingredients in here, water, organic tomatoes, uh, butternut squash, onions, kale, organic kale, tomato paste, 
extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, cumin, black pepper, and rosemary. So very clean ingredients. There's no like filler ingredients in here, which is really good. And surprisingly, it's pretty tasty for a soup that came in a little container. So <sighs> soup number two, here we go. Definitely feeling a little bit hungry still. So gonna grab a handful of nuts. Hi. So it's the end of the work day, it's around 5.30. I'm feeling very tired and very sluggish. I just really want to eat a Snickers bar. And yet here we are. Maybe I'll go drink some water. Okay, third soup of the day. I actually had this one for dinner last night. Lentil and kale with cinnamon and rosemary. Here are the ingredients and the nutritional facts. Mmm, this one's yummy. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys an update of what happened for the rest of the evening. When my son came back from daycare, he was a little bit hungry, so we had snack time. We had a croissant in the house, so I cut it up for him, and he had some croissant along with some yogurt. And while I was cutting the croissant, I was just so hungry that I couldn't help myself, and I took two bites um, <laughs> out of the croissant. So that was my first cheat item, outside from the handful of nuts. Well, I guess that wasn't really a cheat item. Handful of nuts is okay. And and then as he was eating his snacks, I realized that I was still really hungry. So I ended up boiling two eggs. So I had two hard boiled eggs for dinner and then I was still hungry. So I uh, had two spoonfuls of peanut butter. Um, I haven't really had to diet like this in a long time and it was just a shock to my body I don't know if any of you guys have ever done like a, the keto diet where it's like low carb But the last time I tried that was maybe like two or three years ago and uh, It feels like the first day or two they call it the keto flu Which kind of feels like you're just really sluggish You don't have a lot of energy and that's definitely what I went through because I was definitely on a low carb day that day So that was how the evening went. I didn't end up finishing the other two suggested soups out of the five soups for the day because I fell asleep when I was putting my son to bed around nine and so that was all I ate that day three soups from Splendid Spoon, a handful of nuts, um, two hard-boiled eggs, two spoonfuls of peanut butter and also like two bites of a croissant. So if you are curious calorie-wise, I did a little calculation. The first soup that I had I think was the cauliflower potato soup. Um, this one has 220 calories even though on the side it, has, it says 110. They count two servings per container so if you're ordering this make sure to pay attention to that. The next soup was the butternut squash ratatouille. This one has 60 calories per serving so which equals to 100. 20 for the for the whole container and then the last one I had was the lentil and kale soup which is 130 calories per serving which equals to about 260 so out of all the soups I added it up I had 600 calories of split it spoon soups and then I went online and I checked for the calories of everything else that I ate uh, for the eggs it was 78 each so it was like 156 for the two of them the peanut butter two tablespoons um, is about 188 calories and then the croissant 231 for a medium croissant i would say i had maybe like a sixth of a croissant so i counted 75 calories so let's go ahead and add that up real quick and see how many calories i consumed on that day i usually don't count my calories too much so i'm actually really curious to see what it was oh wow i only had 1000 oh 1019 calories oh actually you know what i forgot the nuts so what what did i think of the experiment slash challenge um it was definitely very interesting in terms of energy levels on the day of i definitely was feeling really really tired but then uh i'm filming this right now on a tuesday so this is like four days out from when i first did the challenge after i slept I woke up the next morning, I felt normal. I didn't really feel hungry at all, which was really surprising. And then throughout the weekend and also yesterday, I felt that um, I just really did not crave for junk food or snacks. Like I, my husband was eating um, like some chips and dip and he offers me some and I was like, no, oh, thank you. I, I don't really want to eat that right now. And then he also drove by Dunkin' Donuts and he asked me if I wanted to have a donut. I was like, you know, not really. I don't really feel like having a donut. So, I mean, I think do doing this challenge overall was really good, um, especially because I'm trying to eat cleaner for the year. Like many people, I think, probably have that on your resolution list for the new year. So doing this challenge has definitely helped. I see that I my cravings have definitely been cut down and I don't really feel the urge to reach for junk food or processed foods. I did end up drinking the, other, the rest of the soups like over the weekend. And also I had one for dinner last night and then one for lunch today. Overall, 
overall, I think all their soups are really, really nutritious and it's packed with plant-based protein and vegetables. If you feel like doing this challenge, let me know how it goes for you in the comment section below. I'm really curious to see how other people are taking the challenge or like the reset day. I don't know. It's not really a challenge. It's a challenge for myself. If you've never tried Spoon Spoon before and you want to give them a go, use my link below in the description because you'll get a small discount. If you have any questions or comments about this video or my experience, let me know in the comments as well. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel or leave a comment or give this video a like or a share. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel grow. So I really appreciate it if you can spend some time to do that. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!